Today's video might be my favorite video of the year because it's celebrating my favorite holiday, Halloween. Hello there, welcome back to a vegan sweet Halloween. You guessed it, today is my vegan diary number two, Halloween edition. Like the previous edition, you're going to follow us all day long as we eat exciting autumny and Halloweeny food. I hope it's going to inspire you for your own Halloween celebration, or even just to eat pumpkin everything this fall. So, as it should, we're going to start our day with a sweet and velvety pumpkin spice latte, and some even more indulgent fluffy pumpkin spice pancakes, topped with my homemade pumpkin spice spread and some vegan honey. The recipes for all those goodness are going to be linked down below in the description. You could also find it on vegansweetaddiction.com. For lunch, we're going to enjoy a burger disguised as a pumpkin. For an afternoon snack, we're going to enjoy some pumpkin everything brioche. And for dinner, we're going to prepare a big buffet of everything spooky and Halloween-y. With no further ado, let's go! By mixing together the plant-based milk and the lemon juice, I'm making a butter milk. I forgot to film the sugar, but now is the perfect time to add it. Mix until it's just incorporated. If you mix for too long, you could get a stiff batter. I'm going to cook each pancake for a few minutes on both sides. They are so fluffy, so spicy and so cute. And with my homemade pumpkin spice spread, it's to die for. I don't know about you, but a pumpkin spice latte always gets me so excited about autumn. and I'm topping it with my homemade vegan whipped cream, cause why not? I made those burger last week and it was amazing. And this black garlic sauce, I don't know how to say it, but it was just beyond amazing. Those burgers are made from black bean, but of course you could also use some Beyond Burger, Impossible Burger or whatever is your favorite. I'm 
putting the mushroom, topping them with the patty. Then the butternut squash, onion, spinach, and the star of the show, the black garlic sauce. I separated my dough into 100 gram balls and now I'm rolling them in the palm of my hand. To do that, I'm going to wrap each ball in some baker twine, like that. I'm going to let them rise for about one hour. Now I'm going to brush each ball with a glaze made of plant-based milk and syrup. I'm using my magic black garlic sauce here too. I'm cutting my mushroom in two, then cutting teeth and eyes to make little mushroom skulls. And in the oven it goes for around 10 to 15 minutes.
I hope you enjoyed sticking with us today and that it was as much fun for you to watch as it was for us to film. Thank you so much for tuning in and let's catch up on the comment section or on Insta. I have a lot of autumnal content coming out there. See you in two weeks and until next time, take care. And don't forget, as the mayor said, there is only 365 days until next Halloween.